right, guys, here we are. We've got Carlene Matthews in the house. Boom. Big smile. She's got her big guns out. Is it working out <laughs> no. or what? Up next, stick around for our Instapot Beef Stew. So Carlene's gonna man the bowl. I'm just gonna throw the ingredients in. She's gonna mix like a maniac. And uh, hopefully it'll all turn out nice. So first we've got beef, some beef stew beef. Have you ever seen those at like Costco or Sam's? Yeah. It's all cut up. It's, it's super simple. I love it. It's yeah. like the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. Okay, then with that, I want to get our seasonings in here. Salt, some coarse ground black pepper. I'm putting these guys in first because we want to get that meat seasoned and then... Season that meat. Well, there. And then once the veggies cook, it'll all kind of... <clears throat> Look at this cloud. Poof. Spice. Poof. Garlic. Okay, how about some balsamic vinegar? Tamari, a gluten-free soy sauce. What do you think, onions next? Yeah. Do you have an Instapot? Yes. Do you ever use it? Uh, so I don't much. know how to use it very yeah. well. I. Kind of tricky, right? Yeah, my husband tried it one time and we just didn't have success, but I really want to start using it more, so this is perfect. Hopefully this will help out. <clears throat> Green peas. Go to what do you want next? Carrots? I want some carrots. Take um, carrots. Celery. Celery. Mushrooms. Shroomies. Are these yams, yams or sweet yams. potatoes? Okay, yams. yams. Okay, yams. Don't get them um, mixed up. And then we'll go tomato puree. And then tomato paste. Do you make beef stew a lot at home or? No. Not too much. <clears throat> Not very much. Growing up? How about growing up? Growing up, no, we never, we didn't eat any beef. Oh, really? Nope. Yeah, my mom never ate any beef. So, like, once I got to college, then we ate more. So, or I ate more. Because I was beef. on my own, yeah. Well, let me do, I'm gonna hold this up now if you can kind of scoop or what would you call this? Like a slide S guide? Funnel. funnel. Funnel it in. Now, what we're looking at is kind of thick, but um, the, the moisture is gonna come out of the meat and the veggies and kind of mix with that thick tomato paste and give us a nice nappe yeah. consistency. You know what nappe is, right? No. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Nappe is like when you dip a spoon in some soup, on the back side of the spoon you can run your finger. Okay. And, and your finger mark will stay there. We're going for nappe. We're going to throw the lid on. Um, we're going 35 minutes on the meat stew setting and then we'll show you what it looks like. Good job, Carly. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, here we are. Carlene, what do you think? It smells good. Should we crack it open and take a look? Yep. Mm. There we go. A little steam, let me take this for you. Go ahead and stir that up. Yeah. Looks good, nice and chunky. Is that too thick or about no, right? No, that looks... You like it like that? Yep. Okay. What was that word again? Nappé. Nappé. Yeah, so let's test, test it. We gotta get... Let's go on the front like this. If I put my finger, look. Okay, yep. Did the line stay? Yep. Perfect, nappe. Nappe. Nappe pro nappe. over here. Okay, what I'm doing, I got some Italian parsley going, a couple sprigs. I'm gonna chop this up. Don't you think a little fresh? Yeah, that color. would be really good. Just to add that bright green in there. And then what we're gonna do, what's going on over here? You wanna explain that situation? Uh, yeah, we're gonna put some, half of it, we're gonna put over some rice, a, cook, a cup of cooked rice. And then half we'll do portion out without the rice. The rice is just gonna add you some extra carbs. Well, it's good for you, right? You were saying what, yeah. what we measured it out and this is gonna be a 50, 30, 20. Yep, yep. so. Carbs, protein, fat. Yeah, 50% of that is gonna be uh, carbs and then you're gonna go 30 protein and 20 fats. This one's gonna be more of a more zoned out. So uh, 40, 40, 20. 40, 40, 20, so mm -hmm. still off. A little bit, but yeah. good. Okay, so let's do this. Go ahead and fold yeah. that in. Yeah, that's that now in. that's beautiful. Isn't that crazy how it? Yeah, it just brightens it up. Everything. My husband's gonna be so proud. I learned how to cook. Does he do most of <laughs> cooking or what? He does it all. Okay. The thing about slow cookers is that they're slow. Slow. There you go. <laughs> they're slow, right? So I encourage you guys to get the instant pot. We're gonna do our best to. Keep turning these videos out so that you know how to use it. We're gonna find yeah. great ways and great recipes and share them with you. Um, and it just saves time, right? It took yeah. 35 minutes instead of four to eight hours. Yeah. You agree? 
And then breaking it down like this, I love it was Carlene's idea. If you need the carbs here, if you don't have this one, seal these babies up, throw them in your freezer, and they're ready when Easy. you are. Yeah. So this has been our Instapot Beef Stew with Carlene Matthews. Thank you so much. You guys give it a shot. It's super simple. And as Jacques Pepin always says, Happy, happy cooking! cooking.